Are you planning a trip or thinking about traveling? Not sure where to start and which countries to visit? See, my girlfriend and I spent six months traveling across Southeast Asia. We started with the mountains of Northern Thailand, then to a lesser known nation of Laos, a majorly underrated country in Southeast Asia. A journey through war history and natural wonders in Vietnam, and then to the hidden gem of Southeast Asia, Cambodia. So let me show you some of the places we visited and how much it actually cost. And just maybe this video will actually help you shape your future plans to travel. So my girlfriend and I spent 6 months traveling across Southeast Asia. We left our home in Paris and bought one-way tickets to Bangkok, Thailand. Now Bangkok has a lot to offer, from busy night markets, Thai boxing shows, street food culture to fancy high-end restaurants and malls. But we want to show you the temples of Bangkok. This one here is called the Wat Panchama Bofet. Commonly known as the Marble Temple, it was built for a former king and today you can visit this temple for 50 baht. Then we have the Vatarun Temple. Inspired by Khmer architecture, it's almost 300 years old. Tickets, 100 baht. And this one here is the Golden Mount Temple. Easily our favorite one given its heavy history attached to it. Just 50 baht for entry. Now this isn't our first time in Bangkok and the city never disappoints us. Both of us have been to Thailand before and there is so much we haven't seen. So we had a plan. We wanted to go somewhere we've never been before. So we took a night bus from Bangkok to the laid back city of Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is known for its blissfully calm and laid-back lifestyle. What makes this city special is its unique culture, friendly locals, and relaxed atmosphere. This city is everything Bangkok is not, and this is why we came here. Now, Chiang Mai was a home for the next two months. Let me show you some of the places we would recommend on your trip to this beautiful city. First up, we have the local Chiang Mai Zoo. Home to 7,000 animals and 5,000 birds, 150 baht for a ticket. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake this 
this feeling beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello, no I reach through mysterious ceilings My holy hope I look for the things I don't know Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know All in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Now, if you're someone who loves nature, then try hiking on the Monk's Trail. Totally free and an easy hike to an ancient temple on the mountain edge. Maybe check out this little dog cafe run by this lady named Ellily. She started this cafe in order to support the animals including two elephants.
Now Chiang Mai is full of places like this. In my opinion, this city is the best of Thailand. And if you wanted to slow things down even more, then you have to visit the local reservoir. A quick getaway from the city for just 50 baht. Maybe check out this smaller reservoir inside Chiang Mai University, completely free to public. And when it comes to markets, Chiang Mai has one of the biggest night markets in the country. Open every night from 5 p.m. till midnight.
And if you're a morning person, then there is the weekend market. Open every Saturday and Sunday from 7 in the morning. The market offers a variety of handmade vintage clothes and crafts, and a farmer's market that serves fresh organic food. Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Sky sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. And then we saw this coffee seller we've seen on YouTube. So basically you pay whatever you like and he will keep serving you coffee while you can enjoy a random conversation with random strangers and travelers. If you're into that kind of thing. I've been to college in Thailand. Like, uh, in Hua Hin. Yeah. I started in Hua Hin and then I went to the ABAC in Bangkok. So everyone knows ABAC. <laughs> Sorry? Can you speak that? Nit noi. I'm getting. I don't. I don't. Just a little bit. How long? Asian, no? You look like Asian. I am Asian. <laughs> Just been sunburned a lot though. <laughs> and this is the Doi Sutep Temple. Built in the 19th century, it's one of the most sacred temples in Thailand. Just 30 baht.
And if you like, on your way to the temple, you can stop by this waterfall. Nothing crazy, but again, it's free to visit. Now if you happen to be in Chiang Mai for New Year's Eve, then try releasing a lantern. It's a Thai tradition to release lanterns on New Year's Eve. It symbolizes new beginnings and letting go of your trials and tribulations. Now Chiang Mai is a perfect home base if you want to explore the different regions of Northern Thailand. We rented a bike to take on our first road trip to a very special place called Pai. But before we get there, the road to Pai is a journey in itself. The famous Route 1095, featuring over 700 turns up into the mountains. Just like that, before we knew it, we were in Pai. A tiny village of just 3,000 people, a very special place in Thailand and to us. This was our first time here and it exceeded our expectations. Tucked away in the mountains of Mae Hong Son province, Pai is personally my favorite place in the country. Let me show you what not to miss in Pai. This is the Big White Buddha and again this one is completely free. Just a few kilometers outside the village, there is the famous Pai Canyon, and again, it's free.
So from Pai, we covered the distance of 55 kilometers to a hanging mountain village called Benjabo. This village is famous for having these cafes and restaurants that are literally just hanging off the cliffs. Maybe you've seen it in one of Mark Wien's this videos. Is the beauty of Banjabo, and I think what's so impressive and unique about Banjabo is the the mountainous landscape high in the mountains, but also the I believe that they're karst. Uh, mountain rock formations which create such a dramatic, such uh, an intense landscape. And just nearby, you have the Thumb Lot Cave from prehistoric times. 300 baht for entry fee that includes a guide and it can take up to 3 hours to complete the tour. Cave number two. Cave number two. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It collapsed. Yeah. The cave number two. Much less oxygen here. And it's sticky. And our next road trip led us to the most northern province of Thailand to a city called Chiang Rai. Chiang Rai is home to the famous White Temple, Blue Temple and a cave with an incredible rescue story. Let's start with the White Temple. So this is not an actual temple. 
A famous Thai artist started this project in 2014 when the original temple was damaged by an earthquake. He then decided to completely redesign and rebuild this temple. temple here is another example. This one was designed by a student of the same person who designed the white temple. And while you're in Chiang Rai, take a ride to the Golden Triangle, a muddy junction where three countries meet. So back in the days, the Golden Triangle gained popularity for opium trades. You can imagine how easy it must have been to smuggle drugs across. Okay, so that over there is Laos. Over here is Myanmar. And we're in Thailand. So back in 2018, the world was watching Chiang Rai. Rescue divers and teams from all over the world came together to pull off an incredible rescue mission. For more than two weeks, it seemed the whole world has been transfixed by the extraordinary mission to save 12 boys and their soccer coach trapped in a flooded cave system in Thailand. What began as a local emergency grew into a full-blown international effort to rescue the 13, a battle against rising water and against time itself, with the impending wet season threatening to overwhelm the rescue effort. A global team of cave diving and logistical experts led by the Thais mounted one of the most remarkable rescue missions ever undertaken. How many of you? Thirteen? Yeah, thirteen. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Images everyone hoped, but no one expected to see. Twelve boys and their soccer coach found alive inside this cave in Thailand. We are coming, it's okay. it's okay. Many people are coming. Many, many people. We are the first. Many people come. And this is the cave where 12 local boys and the football coach were stuck for nearly 18 days. Their rescue came at the cost of two Thai Navy SEALs. And today you can visit this site for free.
and before we knew it, we ran out of visa. Now, Thailand has the fastest growing economy in Southeast Asia and the country doesn't really have any enemies, which allowed them to grow their economy more than any other nation in the subcontinent. So after spending three months in Northern Thailand, it was time to go somewhere we've never been before. We took a flight from Chiang Mai, Thailand to Luang Prabang, Laos. This is my very first time in Laos, and we are in the UNESCO World Heritage Site, Luan Prabang. So this is what you should do on your first day here. Wake up as early as 5 in the morning and witness the almsgiving ceremony. A Laos Buddhist culture where the locals would offer food or money to the monks. And after that, maybe get a coffee somewhere and take a walk through the morning fresh market. And then take a ride outside the city to the most beautiful waterfall I've ever seen, Kuang Si Waterfall. This one will cost you 20,000 kip. So the population of Laos is just over 7 million people. Nothing compared to its big neighbors like Thailand with 71 million. 
The country is completely landlocked and nearly 80% of the land is covered in mountains that are not livable. Now from Luan Prabang, we took a night bus to the adventure capital of the country, Wang Viang. Wang Viang is usually known as the Wild West of Southeast Asia, a lawless town. But this place is so much more than that. It's a popular destination for adventure sports and scenic mountain hikes. We would recommend this adventure park called Wonderful Tours Laos. They offer all kinds of adventure sports at very reasonable prices. Let's start with zip lighting, 200,000 kip. Hi guys. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down <laughs> Second time. <laughs> We're gonna leave you like that. Oh, you're going back. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and don't forget to explore this free cave in the park. And then we tried kayaking down the Namsong River, also 200,000 kip. Okay. Turn right, you see, right? Okay. The man sit 
behind because we, you have to control the kayak. And for the lady, I see the, the weaker sex yeah. in the front. Yeah, thank okay. you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, you're gonna fall. Sit down. Sit down. Uh, okay, right, right. And we ended the day with a hike to the Silver Cliff Mountain, a spectacular viewpoint overlooking the town of Wang Biang.